Hi everyone, in this short video, I will show you how you can enable or disable and configure a managed environment via the Power Platform CLI. Without further ado, let's go to my desktop and show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and I already have the Power Platform Admin Center open. I have an environment here called Environment Settings and we can see that the managed environment is turned off for this environment. I can of course select this one and select enable managed environments and configure it this way, but I want to show you the other way and that's with Power Platform CLI. So let's switch to the Windows terminal and let's move to the pack admin set governance config command and I add the help command behind that so that we can see what this command actually does. And here we can see that it can enable, disable and edit managed environments. The command can be used with multiple parameters. There are two that are required. That's the environment and the protection level. So for the environment, you can use the URL or the ID of the environment. And for the protection level, you can use either basic, which means that you turn the managed environments off, and you can use standard, and that will enable managed environments. And there are a bunch of other parameters which can help you with using some settings, because when you enable it, it all has the default settings for managed environments, but sometimes you wanna change something, and that's what we're gonna do in a little bit as well. So let me go to an older command that I ran, and I'm gonna change the protection level to standard because I want to enable the managed environment in the environment that we uh, just saw. I already added the GUID of the environment, so the environment ID is already in there. And we can see, of course, back admin set governance config. For the protection level, I use standard because we want to enable the managed environment inside of that environment. For this demo, I'm going to use the solution checker mode because that's a really cool feature. Uh, with the solution checker mode, you can have multiple values. You can have none, and then solution checker won't have any influence on your environment at all. But you can also set it to warn, and that means that when somebody imports a solution and the solution checker runs and there are some errors, it will warn people of that error. And then we also have block, and block can actually uh, limit that people can import uh, solutions that have solution checker issues. So in this case, I'm gonna use warn to show you how that works. And I'm gonna run this, and this should only take a couple of seconds. And there we go. The managed environments are enabled. And now we go back to the Power Platform Admin Center. I'm gonna refresh this, and here we can see that in the column managed, it's set to yes, so the enablement worked. And uh, let's see, oh, it's still running the state. That can happen sometimes that it takes a couple more seconds. Let's refresh again, and there we are. It shows that it's ready. Uh, so when I select this, I can now see the button edit managed environments. And there we can see that we have a whole bunch of fields in there which we can configure, but we left almost everything on the default except one, and that's the solution checker enforcement. We set that to warn. So what if I want to update this? So instead of warning, I want to make sure that we can uh, block it. I can run the same con command again with almost the same parameters or at least the values to the parameters. The only thing I want to change is solution checker mode and I want to set that to block now. So let's run this command and see what happens. There we go. The managed environment has been updated. Let me refresh this and you can see that it's running. So I refreshed again and there we have the state ready. So now we can edit it again and we can see that the solution checker enforcement is set to block. But we can of course do that with other parts of the managed environments as well. So when you want to change the other settings, I would highly encourage you to try that out as well. But for now, this was what I wanted to show you and let me wrap up the video. 
That was it for this video. I hope you liked it. Check out the links in the description and see you at the next video. Bye bye.